There was no really one particular player that got me started playing the bass. Um, the thing that, that really got me started was just the sound of the instrument. When I was about nine years old, it, something about the sound of the instrument just really appealed to me, and it just seemed so expressive and, and so emotive that I really, you know, I just wanted to be involved with that sound. In fact, it, at first, I didn't even know what the instrument was. When, when I first remember hearing the bass was on a TV show, and it was during the theme of the TV show, and you couldn't see the musicians. So there was just this bass playing a little bit by itself, and I thought, you know, boy, I want to play that instrument. And I didn't even know what instrument it was. My first bass was this nasty bass. It was, um, uh, you know, this is when the Beatles were popular, so it was a, a, like a violin-shaped bass like Paul McCartney's, only it was no, nowhere near as good. It was hollow body. It's kind of like a canoe with strings on it, is sort of what it was. It was, uh, would feed back horribly, you know, hollow body instruments do that. And I, I liked that about it a lot, but it was a, a horrible instrument to play, and the brand, you know, it's, escapes me. It was not one of your major brands, sorry to say. Well, after I had the canoe with strings on it, I had, um, I got a, a Gibson EB3. It was sort of the first real, real bass that I got that was really, it was a pretty playable instrument. It was actually small. I think it was a medium scale, so it was good for me because I've always been kind of a small guy. But yeah, it, it really made a difference in my playing because it had a really clear sound to it. Um, and I remember um, it was also a lot easier to play, which is something I really, I think is really important for, especially for an electric instrument. I think, a, you know, I really look for an instrument that's, that's really easy to play um, because, you know, if you don't have projection issues and, and things like that that you have with an acoustic instrument. Often with an acoustic instrument, you know, you'll need to have the strings higher off the fingerboard and so on to, to get the right projection. But with an electric instrument, that's not really an issue. So I really like an, an instrument that's easy to play. And this Gibson bass was so much easier to play than my previous bass that um, it was great for me because I used to run home from school to, to practice. I was so anxious to play this bass. It felt so good.
I love to play with musicians that really have their own voice. Somebody that, you know, when they're playing, they really do something to the music that really makes it their own. And I, I love hearing that. A lot of times it's not a matter of how much technique some, somebody has or how familiar they are with a certain genre. Um, in fact, those things, you know, really aren't that important to me. But, boy, I love to play with somebody that, you know, it's kind of an indescribable thing. You just feel something when they play that, that really moves you. And I think that, to me, is the most important thing I look for in a musician.
I, I like to advise students to, to really pursue what they love. Uh, again, to me, this instrument is a lot of different things. You know, it's, again, it's a great support instrument, it's a great melodic instrument, you know, it's great for soloing, it's great for chords. Um, I really encourage students to really, um, really study whatever, whatever about the bass that, that appeals to them. Um, because some, some guys are just great supportive bass players and they're just, you know, they make the music happen just from that, that part of it. Um, and other guys are great soloists. Um, I, I, I like to encourage people to look at all of it. Um, you know, ultimately, I think you should at least try everything because there's so many things that the bass can do well. I, I think it's a shame not to, to at least try it all. But I think it's important to, to really look at, at what you really enjoy playing and study that. And, you know, if you're interested in, in classical music, you know, don't be afraid to, to look at that and, and transcribe some of the, the great classical pieces over to the bass. And if you're interested in melodies, learn every melody that you can. And you know, if you're interested in funk music, learn everything that you can about funk music and, and play every piece of funk music that, that appeals to you. I mean, it, it's important to do what you don't like as well every once in a while just to try it because I think um, you know, sometimes you may find that there's something going on there that, that you can really learn to, to enjoy. Um, but mostly I think it's a matter of, of really going after what, what you care about.
Thank you.